A marine heat wave out in the Pacific resembles something that happened before, right around this time in 2015. KPI X5's Emily Turner on the potential consequences in the water and on shore. About four years ago, Wild Care says they saw a massive influx of seabirds. And considering what's happening in the Pacific Ocean now, they're worried that's going to happen again. Offshore in the cool blue waters of the Pacific is a marine heat wave, scientists say. It mimics a similar phenomenon from four years ago that wreaked havoc on the ocean's ecosystems. We're looking at a lot of really bad things that could happen in the ocean. For one, there could be a lot of fish die off, um, and that has ramifications throughout the food web. We saw sea lions dead and starving on beaches. Or bird die-offs, like this one that happened right here in the Bay Area. Wild Care rescued more in just two weeks of September 2015 than it had the entire year. And they're getting ready to see those staggering numbers again. But we're preparing cages, we're preparing enclosures. Uh, when these birds come in, they're emaciated, they're dehydrated. They are very, very much in need of emergency care. The liquid heat wave hasn't quite reached our shores, but scientists say it's slated to and with temperatures about seven degrees warmer than average it could be just as deadly and far-reaching as last time it's our whole ecosystem and if um, you know tourism and, and fisheries are taken into account it's a big chunk of our economy and it also impacts our weather the number for wild care is 415-300-6359 that's their hotline they ask that if you see any of these injured wild birds in the future to give them a call they'll walk you through how to rescue them and bring them here in San Rafael, Emily Turner, KPIX 5. Now the current forecasts show the heat wave moderating but continuing for months. But biologists say its large size means it's probably already affecting the ecosystem. But they won't know the full impact for several months. 